if we were to measure um, heart rate, blood pressure, um, stress hormones, and inflammation in a human being during exercise, it would look as if they were ready to die. Blood <laughs> pressure would be high. Inflammation is yeah. through the roof. But all of that is setting in motion an ad adaptation or set of adaptations that allow blood pressure to be lower at rest, that allow um, inflammation markers to be lower at rest, all the things that everybody is seeking with exercise, in, in addition to, of course, the aesthetic changes that people are seeking with exercise. It sounds like the exact same things are happening with the cold. So um, the redundant message here seems to be that the more discomfort provided it's done safely, just like with exercise, the more shivering, the, um, the more cold shock, provided it's not to the extreme and stop somebody's heart, right? We can talk about thresholds for that a little bit later. It sounds like all of that is going to set in motion some long-term changes that will make people feel better and will improve health.